All right, I have one side done and one side not of just one color. So I'm using my tan lines, which I'm almost out of, and my new one will look like this. It comes in a cute tin. You just slide it up. What tan lines does, you guys, tan lines or Bella Bronzer, my natural skin is very light right now because I'm, I've lost my summer tan. Um, but I still have a lot of redness and like dark circles. My eyelids are red and dark and you know, I just have multiple colors on my face. Tan lines helps to warm that up, but also kind of bridge that gap between the two. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but it just bridges a gap between the light and the dark. So then it gives me an even base to put my 3D foundation on, which I think is so cool. So if you don't have tan lines, definitely try it. All right, you guys, so I've got half of my face done in a paint by numbers application. This is my before. You can see I've got lots going on in my skin, lots of broken capillaries, redness, texture, breakout. My eyes are all dark. <laughs> um, my forehead usually stays pretty like the same shade, but I've got a lot going on in this area. So then this side I have my 3D foundation on and I've just got it in a paint by numbers manner and then I use that tan lines bronzer as a base. So right now I only have tan lines bronzer, indigo contour, amber highlight, that's like my foundation shade, um, a brightening shade which I'll double check the color, and a lip and cheek. That's it. So you can keep your makeup super basic and I'm going to blend this out. Okay, so I've got myself blended out. I am gonna add just a little bit more brightness. I feel like my white peach kind of blended away a little bit. So I'm just gonna brighten up a couple areas. But you guys, look at this coverage, it's amazing. And then you can even add a little bit of your bright color under there to help enhance that contour. Like this one? Let me see, baby. Yeah, that's perfect, honey. Spirit does not know this. And he st keeps standing on girl stuff. Oh, no. But he does like girl stuff. He thinks that he...
right, I am taking my Bella bronzer now. So this is a darker bronzer than tan lines that I used as a wash of color on my face. You can absolutely use Bella the same way I use tan lines. Um, I love that in the summer. But now that we have tan lines, I love the lighter warmness that that gives my natural skin tone for most of the year when I'm not tan. But I'm taking Bella, and I already put it on my lid. If you take a small brush like this, it really frames your eye. And it actually can make them appear larger because I have really small like almond-shaped eyes. And if you bring a warmer color like Bella or a eyeshadow that you're wearing on top down below, it just kind of opens your eyes out. It helps to frame them even more. Now when I use Bella or a cream of some sort on my eyelids, I like to set it with a powder because it'll help with creasing. Your eyes are going to move a lot, so I'm just taking Cafe and setting that Bella. I have very um, hooded eyes, so I do get a lot of creasing there, um, so that's why I do that. And then I'll bring a little bit down under here, but you could just leave it. Most of the time I just leave it, but I'll show you how you can set it like that. So I'm just going to press this out. I'm going to add a little bit of my perfume illuminator right here. stuff smells incredible. So that is a illuminator. It's our cream illuminator, but it also has a perfume in it. So it makes your face and your compact smell so good. Then I'm going to take my sponge, put some stay spray, Our creams are movable and workable. That's why like when you're doing your makeup, if you mess up, you can fix it, which I love because like traditional foundation will set and dry and you can't really get something fixed. It's just harder. I used to always have to take my makeup off. And so I love creams because they're movable and workable and blendable. You can fix anything, but they do need to be set. So our stay setting spray will give you that stay power with also that dewy complexion. Now, if you like a matte finish or you tend to be oily, you can use our Vanilla Dust setting powder or any loose, um, loose powder to set under your eyes and T-zone area or just to give yourself like a matte look. Um, but for the most part, just setting with a stay setting spray will be enough. It kind of feels like your skin has a really nice moisturizer on it. Um, if it ever feels sticky, just take that damp beauty blunt blender a sponge. This is our perfector and just really press it in and that will take any of the stickiness away, but you can also set with a powder. So real quick, I'm going to take my perfector and some powder and show you the difference. Hopefully you can see that. So it just kind of takes that little bit of shine away, um, but you can, it's more of a matte finish so it doesn't have the like moisturizer feeling like I was saying. Um, so if you like that, you can absolutely set with a powder. I like using my sponge. I don't know why I just do. <laughs> um, so that took that shine away and it just mattifies it for you. So again, this side I'm going to do, it's a little shinier, just take that powder
and it mattifies. You can even go along your jawline um, to set. I don't always do this, but you totally can. I'll just keep your makeup on all day. If you tend to be oily or sweat, um, like say it's summertime, I like to set with powder. But I leave my contour areas out and my blush. But that's like, that's the final look, you guys. You saw my before. And this is my after. It's just nice. So nice, even glowy complexion my skin feels so good um, I did do my brows I've been using this from TJ Maxx it's like some Faro pencil I don't know it works fine <laughs> um, but that is my makeup so I hope that was helpful if you want to get a color match let me know um, I can just help match your like skin tone to the foundation colors and then you can play around with all the other fun shades or if you just want me to build you a cart I can do that and you can see exactly what will go into your compact and then I swear my hair is falling out everywhere I don't know if it's like change of seasons but my hair is just shedding like crazy right now it's driving me nuts but if you want a color match let me know I'll work on that tonight um, and either send it to you tonight or first thing in the morning all right, this is natural light from my window with no ring lights on. Everything's turned off. Um, this is what it looks like, just in natural light. It's very, very natural, very subtle. You can totally go full glam. I even used our darkest contour, but I blended it out pretty good. So you can really adjust the makeup however you want um, to be very bold. Uh, full coverage, medium coverage, light coverage, whatever you want. You can pick a bolder color, like on your lip and cheeks. I just did kind of a nude shade. Um, that's like my go-to for every day. So it's really customizable to you. You pick and choose everything that goes inside your compact. So you are in control of the colors that go in here. So it makes your makeup so convenient because you have everything that you want in one spot.